So we studied ctDNA detection and late recurrence in high-risk hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer. Um, so we identified 103 patients with stage two or three hormone receptor positive breast cancer that were diagnosed at least five years prior that had overall higher risk of recurrence. Um, and of these 83 patients, tumors underwent successful whole exome sequencing and comprised the analytic cohort for this study. Um, so for each of these 83 patients, um, we used the radar assay to create personalized tumor-informed liquid biopsy tests and measured patients' plasma samples every six to 12 months at routine follow-up visits. And we found that of the 83 patients in our study, eight patients had detectable ctDNA um, more than five years after initial diagnosis. Um, so this is 10%. And we, there were six patients in our cohort that developed distant metastatic recurrence, and all six of these patients tested positive for ctDNA prior to distant metastatic recurrence with a median lead time of 12.4 months. Um, and, and so this study, to me, um, is, is important in moving us forward. This helps us understand the baseline prevalence and the role of ctDNA um, in this setting and will be really useful to um, inform clinical trials that will study whether intervention after ctDNA detection will actually improve patient outcomes.